Hello friends welcome again so in this video i am going to talk about the most important thing about the charge that is the bound charge and the free charge so what is free charge and what is a bound charge all the complete information are going to be provided in this video so i will request you to watch till the end of this video because this video is going to be very very important and very informative for you guys in the previous video i have already told about the structure of atom the electrons which are revolving around the nucleus the nucleus is having two part that is neutron and the proton so all the complete information i have already told in that video so please go and watch that video because that video is very informative so let us start the video without wasting much time so now let's talk about what is free charges and what is the bound charges so when electron revolves around the nucleus in a fixed orbit then it is held by a coulombic force of attraction and it is called as a bound charge that means the electrons which is present at the outermost orbit of the atom that will be attracted by the nucleus because nucleus ha is having the proton there will be a force of attraction between the proton and the electron so that is the bound charges the electron is bounded within the atom so that's why it is called as a bounded at or the bounded charges okay so it's all about the bound charges so now let's see what is a free charges so when electron is provided with an energy that energy will push the electron which is present at the outermost orbit of the atom then there will be not any force of attraction or the for coulombic force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron which is present at the orbit or the outermost orbit so this is known as that is a free charges that means here the electron which is present at the outermost orbit that is free from the nucleus so that is known as a free charges in an atom so always remember that free charges are responsible to flow the electric current in a circuit because that free charges will flow when the flow of charges will be takes place that will produce an electric current so that is the responsibility of the free charges that means free charges are responsible for the current flow so this is all about the free charges and the bound charges so see you in the next video thanks for watching this video guys